A dead eye is an item used in the standing and running rigging of traditional sailing ships. It is a smallish round thick wooden disc with one or more holes through it, perpendicular to the plane of the disc. Single and triple hole dead eyes are most commonly seen. The three hole blocks were called dead eyes because the position of the three holes resemble the eye and nose sockets of a sheep's skull. Single dead eyes are used to guide and control a line and, particularly in older vessels, to change its direction. More modern systems would use a block for this purpose but in traditional rigs with many lines to deal with, designed when blocks were relatively expensive to make, a dead eye provided an acceptable compromise. When blocks came into common use for adjusting running rigging, dead eyes continued to be used for tensioning standing rigging. Triple dead eyes are used in pairs, a line called a lanyard is run back and forth between them, through the holes, so that they function again much as a block in tackle would. This provides a mechanical advantage, pulling harder on whatever the dead eyes are attached to. Pairs of dead eyes are placed in the shrouds, where they are used to create greater tension in the shrouds. To set up the lanyards used with dead eyes, a suitable grease such as tallow is first applied to the holes. After reeving the lanyard through the dead eyes, the end is hooked to a handy purchase in the rig above, such as the throat halyard. By hauling on the halyard the lanyard in the dead eyes is drawn up taut. A small wooden wedge is knocked into the last hole, to prevent the lanyard sliding back, and the end is unhooked from the purchase and made up on the shroud above the upper dead eye. The wedge can then be removed ready for the next shroud. As an alternative the tackle on the lanyard can be made fast to the shroud well above the upper dead eye so that it compresses the dead eyes. The last part of the lanyard can then be seized to an adjacent part between the dead eyes. When this is finished the tackle is cast off and the lanyard made off. In recent decades, as steel wire became the prevalent material for sailboat rigging, dead eyes and lanyards gave way to metal turnbuckles for tensioning the wires. More recently, however, with the advent of high-strength and low-stretch synthetic fibers, some sailboats are using synthetic rope for standing rigging, and dead eyes and lanyards are coming back into use as tensioning devices.